Hello, welcome. My name is Jenna from Medina, the Professional Learning Events Programs and Social Impact Coordinator at Shape America. Today, I will be demonstrating how to submit a research abstract proposal for the 2024 Shape America National Convention and Expo in Cleveland, Ohio, on the Shape America website. All research abstract proposals must be submitted online through the submission site by the deadline of Thursday, August 10th, 2023 at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. To access the website, you can type in your search engine, Shape America, and click the first link. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. Once you're on the Shape America homepage, as you can see, one of the home sliders is the call for proposals. So you can go ahead and select it here, or you can also go through the events and conferences tab, scroll down and select learn more under the Shape America Convention and Expo. It will bring you here, go ahead and select learn more once more. Okay. And now you should see the call for proposals page. So take a minute to look over the page, familiarize yourself with it. Please take time to go over the submission resources located on the right side. You can access frequently asked questions and a document regarding submitting competitive proposals in this top box right here in the right corner. Shape America is seeking high quality proposals that will be delivered through an equity, diversity, and inclusion lens, and address a full range of issues facing health and physical educators, administrators, and other key stakeholders as they seek to put all children on the path to health and physical literacy. In order to submit your session, please complete the following steps and reference addition guidance documents available on this page. So to submit your session, um, you Step one, read the presenter agreement and ensure all presenters read the agreement prior to listing them on the session proposal. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that so you can see it. This is a presenter agreement. Please review that and have your co-presenters and authors review it as well. Submission categories, go ahead and review them. Um, as you can see, presentation sessions, if we keep scrolling down, you'll see the research abstract categories. So make sure you review that. Step three, review the appropriate submission guide to ensure that you understand the information that will be necessary for your proposal prior to starting your submission. So as you can see, there's one with information for presentation, research abstracts, and research symposium, and also, of course, the call for proposal presentation tutorials, which you're currently watching at the moment for abstracts. Then there is step four to begin your submission by clicking the link below. Be sure to click the start submission under the appropriate session type once we get to that page. And please note that you do not need to complete your submission in one sitting. After starting your submission, you will receive a confirmation email that includes a session or abstract ID and password that can be used to edit or complete a submission at a later time. You may edit your submission until the deadline. All deadlines for call for proposals is Thursday, August 10th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. Now let's get started. So select start your proposal. Okay, so now you should see the call for submissions page. Notice that on the right side, there is a box that allows you to view, resume, edit, and withdraw a submission by typing in your presentation ID and password. Please note that you will receive an email with your presentation ID and password once you submit the presentation or abstract title. At the top of the page, you can notice different drop-down tabs that describe the overview of information that you'll be providing throughout your proposal submission. As you can see here, I'm clicking on them, specific submission information, um, enter plan and presenter names, affiliation, contact information, description, confirmation, and general instructions. To submit a new research abstract proposal, you will need to select 
this second one here that's under research abstracts. But before I select that and get started, please keep in mind these important deadlines. Again, the deadline for proposals is August 10th of 2023. So I'm gonna go ahead and select research abstracts, begin a submission, wait for the countdown, And now you'll see our member login page. If you already have an account, enter your credentials. If you do not, we invite you to create a free profile and give us a try. You do not need to be a member to submit a proposal, but you do need to create an account. If you have any questions or concerns, please call member services at 800-213-7193, extension 1490, or email membership at shapeamerica.org. So once you insert your credentials, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Go ahead and select sign in. So at this point, if you have followed the previous steps on the original submission page, all your speakers and uh, co-authors should have read the presenter speaker agreement terms and conditions. Reminder, all presenters must review the presenter speaker agreement terms and conditions before checking this box here, which I have just checked because I have done that piece. Please make sure you read the instructions as you go along, as you can see. The first box is for you to type in your abstract title. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Your submitter's email should have automatically been inserted, but if it was not, you can go ahead and type that in. Next is your IRB approval or exemption. Research papers must have appropriate IRB approval or exemption to be eligible for presentation at convention. In order to complete the certification, you need to type your name into this box, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Okay. For the description, you need to provide in 75 words or less the theme and an overview of your abstract. This description will be used in the online program guide. Do not list presenters or other participants here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. Uh, for testing purposes, I am just going to type this so that I can show you the next steps. Okay, next you will select your category that best corresponds with your abstract. I'm just going to select measurement and evaluation. Then you will select your preferred type. Um, please indicate all session formats, which you will be willing to present your research. Um, selecting multiple may increase your change uh, your of acceptance into the program. Um, please note that our sessions are the most limited opportunity. So I'm gonna go ahead and select round table and poster. Okay. Also, please note that Research Council does consider how best to group your abstracts and will sometimes change what you have selected here. If your proposal is accepted, please make note of your accepted abstract type. For certification of previous uh, publication, um, you need to read this statement and select agree. Um, you will review this statement as well and select I agree for the R. QES supplement. Select yes or no regarding if you're an international presenter who needs a visa to attend the convention. In my case, I do not. Next is your request for consideration for graduate student award and undergraduate student award. If yes, type in their name. If neither applies to you, just select save at the bottom and you can leave these boxes blank. I'm going to go ahead and leave this boss is blank without selecting yes. So I'm gonna click save. And now you'll be directed to step two. 
So um, you'll be directed to your next step unless there is an issue. If there is an issue, you will see a red box pop up up top here um, explaining what errors you need to fix in order to move on to the. If we look above tabs, you'll notice that the title, that this title tab has an orange and white check mark next to it, and it represents that that step has been completed. You're not allowed to skip ahead, but you can go back if you need to during this process. Make sure to always click the save button at the bottom of each step when you make changes. For step two, you need to add the authors. Before adding a new name, please search the database to see if the name you're looking for appears. Um, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and give an example here, searching the database. That individual does exist. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that individual. Now I would like to add another individual. Okay. If, as a note, if the person you're looking for is not found, you will select now found and enter a new name to input their information. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example of someone who's not in our database. As you can see, it says, no match is found. Please complete the form below. You must fill out all the required fields. So I'm going to go do that at the moment. As you can see, filling out all the requirement, including the email as well, and then save and continue. Okay. The easiest way to go back without saving is by selecting these top tabs. Um, and as you can see, I have two authors here. I'm going to go ahead and add a third one just so I could show you another um, feature that you have access to. Go ahead and select search. Go ahead and fill out all the requirements. Select save and continue. Okay, so as you can see, I have three authors here. Um, here you can select who your presenting author will be and they will change it. And then that's how you can change whoever you're presenting or first author will be. Um, you can also use these orange and white arrows to list your authors in order. As you can see, the pop-up here says, please be sure to click and save the save button as you reorder. So just make sure that once you do, this is individuals in a certain order that you select this save button for that order to be saved. You can also delete authors here by selecting the little trash can symbol. You can make edits by selecting this little paper and pencil to make edits, always make sure you select save. And then you can always add information there as well. Okay. Please note the authors will be listed in the program in the order they're listed in this section. Um, like I said, you can use these arrows to the right of the author's names to make the authors, to move the authors up or down in the order that you'd like them to be listed in the program. As a note, this year, authors will need to submit a photo of themselves as part of their submission. This photo will be added to our speaker database and displayed in our online program. We accept JPG and PNG formats for all speaker photos. If you are the submitter, please ensure you're collecting preferred photos from the presenters you are listing on your session before uploading them to our speaker database. As a note, the presenting author for a submission receives all communications for the abstract from Shape America and is responsible for communicating that information with all of the listed co-authors. 
Please make sure your presenting author and co-authors are aware of the presenting author responsibilities. Only the presenting author can request changes for the abstract. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to go to the next step. And it allowed me to do so. But before I go on to the next step, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that these individuals have that image for our program. So as you can see, I clicked that X. I'm just going to add an image for now. Select save. Close this window and you'll get a green check. That means you have successfully uploaded that photo. You'll repeat the steps for your other co-authors as well. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step. Always make sure you click select save. And then before you move on to the next step. For your abstract, you have the following headers. Background, method, analysis, results, and conclusion. You have to make sure that you incorporate all of these components in your abstract in 500 words or less. Make sure you that you do not include your abstract title or authors listed here because they will be incorporated using the data you have already provided. You can copy your text from a document and paste it, or you can type directly into the box. So I'm going to go ahead and just type something so that I can be able to show you the following step. Go ahead and save and continue. Always make sure you select save. And then for the last step, please proofread what you have entered before selecting that submit button at the bottom of the page. If you need to make any changes, click on these appropriate tabs here at the top um, and make sure that you select that submission button under the last step once you've made all the changes you'd like to make, or we will not have your completed submission in our database. So most importantly, please scroll down and select conclude submission in order for you to successfully submit your abstract proposal. So once you have submitted at the top of the page, it will state your session submission has been received. I'm gonna go ahead and select that here so that you can see that. Your abstract submission has been received as you can see. The system will automatically generate a confirmation email to the listed submitter's email when you have successfully completed your proposal submission. Please note the confirmation email only goes to the listed submitter on the session. These two forms of confirmation will inform you that you have successfully submitted your proposal. You will also see an orange print this page button at the top of the page, and you can print a copy of your submission for your records if you wish. On the column of the left, you have the option to view your submission or withdraw it, submit another abstract, or report technical issues or log out. If you don't see it, go ahead and select these three lines, and now you will see it. Remember that if you ever want to log back into your presentation, refer to the email you received upon submission and initiation or the confirmation email sent to the proposal submitter's email provided. If at any time you have questions regarding proposals, please email proposals with an S at shapeamerica.org or call Shape America at 703-476. 3400. Thank you for supporting Shape America and sharing your presentation with the Shape America community. Have a wonderful evening.